the new definition of where the Stingray has evolved to encompasses a, the total vehicle, not only the, the way it looks, the sculpture, but the technology, the quality, and the performance that it delivers. In going after a new, a new look for the overall car, uh, we wanted to get into a new form of vocabulary, you know, a new sense of sculpture, something that we haven't seen before on any, any other Corvette. We really weren't limited by the, any manufacturing process within the shape that we, that we put on the car. I would say a lot, of, a lot of the drama and the sculpture that you see was carefully honed and tuned in the wind tunnel. And uh, you know, that was getting that, that look to fit over the new architecture was important. So one thing we had to do a new design that everybody was appealing, but we had to use better materials. So the big thing that we pushed for was, if it was al aluminum, it is real aluminum. If it is carbon fibre, it's real carbon fibre. We're using you know, really good quality leather, we're wrapping every, leather, le every level, we're putting live stitching. So the big thing was we really had to make it look like what it was, no fake. We could not do anything fake in this car. We've made a major improvement in the, in the seats for the Corvette and we're actually doing two uh, different seats now. There's two seats available, a, a GT seat, which is like this great all-around sports car seat, and then a track seat, which is a very aggressive, very hardcore uh, performance uh, seats. So they're, they're both uh, lightweight, thin shell designs, um, very aggressive, very supportive. Every single component on the car has been redesigned ex with the exception of two. There's an air filter that's carry over and there's a roof latch that's carry over and actually to tell the truth uh, we're thinking of redesigning the roof latch now uh, at least a little bit and so that would be new as well. So essentially every component and as you can see when you look at the, the body structure there's not a single part, single tool used in making the structure that's carried over from today's car. Um, you know, this, this for us in design, this car was all about looking forward and that uh, we really wanted to, to break some tradition in that we wanted this to be as new a statement as possible and in doing so we came up with a, a new shape for the tail lamp. It's still dual element, which you could argue, you know, that for us is a formula for Corvette, but it's a very, it's a very modern contemporary dual element that leverages indirect LED lighting. So we're, we're leveraging our latest technology with it, but we really felt for the customer it would be important for them to have this lit signature that was very identifiable at night. My studio and the Cullen Trim Studio worked very closely together to make sure that we picked the best materials and some of them are just for the Corvette, we're not using them anywhere else as well. That was another goal that we really pushed and I pushed for, that we had exclusive things for the Corvette. There's nothing worse than buying it and spending a lot of money on a Corvette and then you see it in something else, you know, even though it looks great in that vehicle, you want to feel that you're getting what you pay for that every car is, in, is designed and you've chosen it for you. That was very important. When we set out to design the C7, we really didn't see it as being fixing the C6. We really saw this as being a transformational opportunity for the car to really do something new uh, and something different, really push the boundaries and do what a modern Corvette needs to be. So the, the design is very bold, uh, very exciting. The materials and the quality are top notch. Everything is uh, hand sewn, cut and sew wrapped. Um, the technology is there, uh, reconfigurable displays, um, lots of color and trim variations available so that people can really tailor the car to them. Um, authentic materials, real carbon fiber, real aluminum, there's nothing fake, uh, nothing false, everything's very authentic. It was always intended to be a major redesign. Uh, it did evolve from an evolutionary redesign, starting with today's aluminum frame and modifying that lightly to saying, you know what, we're not going to band-aid our way uh, from the aluminum frame that we use today to one that's truly modern and optimizes the property of aluminum. Uh, at one point in the program we said, nope, this is not going to work. We need a clean sheet of paper, we need all new processes, we need to unshackle ourselves from any constraints uh, from the current car, and that's why we have the frame that we have today. As a designer, it's always been my goal to create more than a beautiful shaped machine. Because if you think of the successful and the wonderful cars, uh, the Corvettes have been done over history, they're more than just machines. There, there's a quality about them that is very special and unique and individual in their personalities. I think that's why they remain so popular over time.